Hello friends, I am back today with a new video of structure of nephron. When we talk about nephron, it is structural and functional unit of kidney. Now when we talk about nephron, there are 1.2 million nephrons present in each kidney. When we talk about structure of nephron, we need to understand, we need to draw one small mirror image C. To this C, we are going to again make one double layer. This becomes the Bowman's capsule. Now extend it little bit bigger one. So this tube that we are extending is called as PCT or it is also called as proximal convoluted tubule. Bring it little bit down. Now from that same level a next tube has to go up. It should be smaller than the previous one because it is DCT, distal convoluted tubule which is smaller than the PCT. Now what we need to do just make this tubule. Now this tubule what we are drawing is collecting tubule. The collecting tubule is then finally going to enter in the medulla of the kidney. We need to divide one line. Now this line indicates half part of the nephron is in the cortex of the kidney and some part of the nephron is in the medulla of the kidney. Now from here from the PCT ending we need to make a very thin tube. Now this tube what we are going to draw is thin one that is called as loop of Henle. Now this loop of Henle is very important in maintaining the concentration of the urine. The concentration of the urine is regulated by the length of the loop of Henle. Longer the loop of Henle more concentrated is the urine. Shorter the loop of Henle less concentrated is the urine. We need to draw the efferent arteriole little bit bigger in diameter then a thin tubule that is called as efferent arteriole smaller in diameter now in the space here we need to draw the glomerulus the dense network of blood capillaries glomerulus and Bowman's capsule together makes up the malfusion body now when we go for the labeling of the nephron let's try to understand the labeling so first we are writing a Bowman's capsule. This Bowman's capsule is a cup shaped or C shaped structure. It's a blind tubule opened at one end only. The center the red part that we have made is glomerulus which is dense network of blood capillaries that helps in the filtration of the blood and formation of glomerular filtrate. This is afferent arteriole whose diameter is bigger than the efferent arteriole. The blood enters in the glomerulus through efferent arteriole. This part narrow one which is called as efferent arteriole. It is smaller in diameter than the efferent arteriole. The blood leaves the glomerulus through efferent arteriole. Now the tubule that we are going to draw this tubule is PCT. PCT stands for proximal convoluted tubule. I repeat again it is proximal convoluted tubule. When I use the word convoluted, convoluted means fold. This green line that we have drawn a thin tubule one this is called as LOH or it is also called as loop of Henle. Now one is coming towards the gravity one side another side is against the gravity. The one coming towards the gravity it is called as descending limb of loop of Henle and the one which is going against the gravity it is called as ascending loop of Henle. One is permeable to water and impermeable to salt other one is permeable to salt and impermeable to water. This is DCT distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule. It is away from the Bowman's capsule therefore we call it as distal convoluted tubule and PCT is near to Bowman's capsule therefore we call it as proximal convoluted tubule. This tubule which is going to collect the urine is called as collecting tubule and through the collecting tubule all the urine will be collected in the renal pyramid. Hope you have understood the structure of the nephron it's very easy. Just remember the full forms of PCT and DCT. Very important. 
proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubule most important thing bowman's capsule and glomerulus together they are going to make the malphigian body now this malphigian body is also called as renal corpuscles or it is also called as pygmalion corpuscles there are peritubular capillaries surrounding this nephron which i have not shown in the diagram as the diagram will become very much untidy hope you have understood the diagram for nephron please do like subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much